Hello and welcome to a new video about Promatics. Valves of Promatic. 5 slash 2 way valve. Again. And also again an impulse valve. Remember impulse valve? If we are switching the valve, a short impulse on the switching, whatever switching this might be, Promatic switching, electric switching, mechanical switching, short impulse is enough. Should not or does not need to stay the in this, this switching signal only is allowed to be an impulse. The valve has been switched and it will stay in the new position. So it's storing the last switch. Huh? This time, however, we have a slightly different construction. We have a poppet valve, huh? but also looks pretty similar to, to this sliding valve from last time. And it's again a 5-2 way valve. Let's have a look. I again tried to show it to you in a drawing. So this is how this looks from the outside. You see, this time there are also holes at the top. And on the bottom there are also holes. But there are quite a lot of holes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. Yeah, I'm talking about a five, two way valve. Ah, we have to look inside. We have to look inside to solve this mystery. Yeah, so open this. Okay, so I again labeled the inputs. Yeah, so there's a one, there's a two, there's a three, there's a four, there's a five. Of course. Yeah. And we see there's a 1, 2 and a 1, 4 line. Clear. Yeah? So it's pneumatically operated. We also see these big uh, pistons which will move this rod in the middle. And here, this here, this is the one which is going to be moved left and right. So this dish here, this one, this is sealing here, either here or here, yeah, depending on if it's switched to here or here. Huh? This is what this is doing. So this is separating this chamber from this side right now. And if I move it this, it's separating this chamber from this side. And the other one is always connected. Yeah? So right now, let's see what are the connections. Yeah? Okay, so it's one and two are now interconnected to each other. Let's see what is happening at 3. Yeah? 3, this is sealed here now. And if I switch to the right, it is open. So 2 and 3 are now connected. And in this position, they are sealed to each other. And on the other side, it pretty much looks the same. 4 and 5 are connected. And if I put it to that way, 4 and 5 are separate from each other. However, 1 and 4 are connected. So, to summarize, yeah? let's apply pressure here, 1, 2, will move to the left. Book. Yeah. We will move to the left. So this is how this looks. Yeah. 1 and 2 are connected, because it's the 1, 2 line. 3 is sealed here. 4 and 5 are also connected. These springs here, let, let's have a look at these springs. Yeah. They are helping, you see, this is a spring which will try to push apart. And since this is now a little bit left than this, if the spring tries to expand, it will also move to the left. So it will keep the piston in place. Yeah? On, the, on the other side, it pretty much looks the same. This here is also further left than this here. So also this spring will push to the left. So these springs are in there to keep the piston in place. So even if it's a little bit shaky or if the, if the gravity is, you know, this will simply ensure this is an impulse valve. So this will keep in place. Now let's switch, let's switch here, one, four. We're switching puck to the other side. Now, as we have seen before, one and four are connected. Five is now sealed here. 
Yeah? And 3 and 2 are connected, like it should be for a 4 slash 2 way valve, right? So, 4 slash 2 way valve, we are using to control a double acting cylinder. Let's have a look at the springs. Now, this here is further to the right than, than the top part. Yeah? So, this is now pushing this rod to the right. Yeah? The other side, also this here is now further right than this. I'll try to move it. Yeah? This here is further right than this. Yeah? So, it also pushes, it also pushes, now we are at the end position, it also pushes this to the right. So, it will keep this in place. Okay. So, let's summarize this. This is the valve. Yeah? These things here are again manual operation. Yeah? So we can push them or push them here and we can switch we can switch the the spring or the, the piston simply by the push of the button. Okay? So this is this is switching, this is simply switching. So This is one switching, switching position, yeah? this is the one two switching position, and this book is now the one four switching, switch, switching, switching, switching position. And I'm not sure if you've noticed, how it is very small way of operation. Yeah? It's tiny, tiny movement just. Yeah? This is a big difference to the Sliding valve. Yeah, sliding valve, we need it quite to move a lot. Here we just need very small. Yeah. yeah, so this is how this looks like inside. Let's switch and see how is the how is the symbol. So we have seen the symbol is a 5 2 way valve. All right, so I will draw the symbol now. So it's a two positions. Again, at the right position, we have one connected to two, three sealed, and we have four connected to five. So here's one, here's three, here's five, and here is two, and here is four. We do have pneumatically operated. Yeah, so here's the one two line and on the right hand side we have the one four line yeah, and here one is connected to four, five is sealed and two is connected to three yeah. and we do have manual operation possibility. This is one switching position. Second switching position is, well, it's just moved to the right. Yeah. The symbol itself will remain the same. So on this side we have this. Oh, I forgot here. Block. On the right hand side we have this. Uh, on the left hand side we have this. But now the left hand side is connected. Of course, it's still plummetically operated. And of course, we're still having the possibility to switch this by hand. Okay. So these are the two switching positions of exactly that valve. 5 2 way valve, poppet valve, small distance to travel. If the pressure is on both sides, yeah, the first one will 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 win, or the stronger, the higher pressure will win, of course. Yeah. Next time, we're going to talk about a 5-3 way valve. Yeah. So we have a third position. Yeah. How we can get to the third position, because we only have two ways of operation again, we will see then in next video. So next video will then also be, again, a sliding valve. Yeah. Yeah.
So, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.